Hi guys, John Mike here playing Dawn of War 2 Retribution, and uh, I have a lot of a optionals available. So I have one on Typhon Primaris, I have one on Judgment of Carrion, the Space Hulk, I have one on Aurelia, and I have one on Meridian. And the main mission here is on Cyrene. I believe this is probably the last mission of the game, but I'll be doing all the optionals. So I'm going to be doing this one first because this is the oldest one. Um, I had an opportunity to do this before. Um, now I'm just doing it pretty much for experience, I think. so pleasing to crush, yet their spoils may still benefit us. Okay, so, um, level 7 Heavy Bolter here. It's not a big upgrade or anything. Actually, it's, I don't think it's an upgrade at all. Let me just look real quick. Um, no, not even an upgrade at all. But it is purple. So I might just use that, actually. Although it is, it is purple, right? So, uh, this will be for... Basically not an upgrade, but I'll be using it as an upgrade anyway. It's a bolter instead of a heavy weapon, which means that my damage will be reduced, but I'll be getting a new ability, which is awesome. Things have trade-offs. That's that's the important thing here. Uh, if I actually look at the, the two items after this is all done and see which I'll prefer, I, I really like the heavy weapons because they have better abilities. Uh, things like the bolter, I think, have suppression, which is not as good in this particular game. You need a lot of damage to push your way through. These orcs always have four fates to them. It's like they clump up together and then something bad happens. Oh, how? Why are we here? Boss, looks like a fire came to us after all. What? Well, keep them off the power nodes. Daisy ain't ready yet. Millennia pass, but orc slaying remains an unchanging pleasure. Okay, so... That was actually very easy to break through. I have guys who are not even involved in battle right now. Jesus. Some of these damages, some of these splashes, these new abilities are real sick. Really, really sick. Um, so, I don't really want to cross this bridge yet, so I'm going to let my range guys take care of these guys. Um, because there is a secondary objective up here that I'd like to be able to get to. I like to be able to kill every unit on the map just for the sake of the experience. God, that, that heavy so good. And it's also going to give me more shots at acquisition, which means that I will be more leveled up, which will be good. Oh, this is a... Uh, Trap that I'm walking into right here. Pick up every kills I can. Uh, this guy here, uh, Various, has a really cool ability. If you kill somebody or uh, puts this ooze on them. He takes control of of them instead of killing them, so that's a pretty cool little ability, and just allows me to have a little bit of fodder, and it's one that builds up very very quickly actually. Mm. 
These guys just left the building altogether. Now I gotta get a kill on this uh, turret over here. It's facing towards me, so pretty scary. That turret died super deep duper fast. Now this is a mission that is very under leveled for what I have right now. Um, I'm at level uh, you know, 10 and I think level 10 is actually the cap. So I'm at around level 9, level 10. This is a level 7 mission. So if it seems a little bit easier than it should be, um, there's a reason. I accidentally skipped this one later on earlier. I'm looking at the map and I'm seeing these little gray circles. And that's actually just me. And like, oh, I look at it and it's like as a uncovered, you know, thing. So I'm just going to get those two upgrades. Uh, health upgrades for my main commander and for Naroth, my wizard. Now, I get that guy, that guy up. And they have a hero up here. This is a weird boy. See if I can doppelganger him. I can. Excellent. And he's got. Let's see, warp vomit. Ooh, that's not good. One of my guys out of control. I guess he's dead. Yeah, he's totally dead. That's unfortunate. I can. I want to keep that doppelganger because he had interesting abilities, but. Was not meant to be. And there's the secondary objective completed. And what do we have over here? Uh, the Chaos Gates. That's pretty far away, actually. So going through here now, this is the area that I was at before. So. Nothing gained, nothing lost here, as is. Can I take over any of these guys? It has to be one of my own. Makes boost the strength of one of my own guy. Capture structure increase population. Well, that's what they're asking me to do. That's what I'm gonna do. Let's get rid of this turret here. Uh, looking at this map, it's actually pretty open-ended which directions you go. There's two objectives here. One over here that I'll be heading towards and then another one. There's no real reliance on one direction or the other. And hey, got another one of them up. Let's get Kane up. More HP for Kane. Yeah, Kane boy. Now, let's get that guy there. We gotta capture one of these guys at least. Oh boy. Get him out of vision. He's not that tanky. Ah, oh, this guy. He has such good blast here. So much power. Enemy HQs can heal. Is that an HQ? It's a teleporter platform. Random group over here. So that teleporter is down, so no more reinforcements. I don't know why I targeted that specifically, but I did. He should be. I gave him the 
I gave him a boost for... There we go. Oh, now he might be dead for realsies. Nope, he's not dead for realsies. I guess he can never die. It's a, it's a lesson that we're learning here. Boy, who do you think you is? Stealing what we done rightfully stole. Boys, get in there and take that no back. So protect the generators. Be able to defend it for three stinking minutes. So I'm actually going to put my heavy in here. He doesn't have a lot of abilities that are useful, so he can go inside. And he should be able to hold... Yeah, he's, he's able to hold a lot of this off by himself. Now where is... Big blast here. Finish doing good. Hey, get off that generator. He's got one of them. Rather unfortunate. As you can see, it's these, uh, these uh, zombies here that are doing most of the damage. How much time do we have? A minute left. Oh, I don't have to destroy the generators, I just have to destroy the power node. And power nodes, I think, are mostly pointless in this game. Briefly told. I'm just going to pull these guys back so that I can get our heavy into this. That's all I want to do there. Ooh, a juicy Killicam. Not good, not good, not good. You boys ain't got that no back yet. Fine, clear off. That's close. Just use the juice from the others to finish up. That gets me enough requisition for another big old health upgrade. Yay me. Alright. So now I'm just going to try and walk around, capture a lot of these points here. There's a lot of entering positions here, and I don't like it. Get a big blast over here. That guy probably doesn't need to have that mode on. A big giant explosion of gooey guys. This guy's kind of scary. Rocket squads. They gotta go. Wow, there's actually a lot of guys here. Oops. Oh, 
See if we can get these buildings down. There. Okay, one little guy left. Yeah, it's so like I said, just trying to get all these because it'll make me stronger and allow me to do more stuff. So, I'm gonna give a damage upgrade to my main guy and come across here. Now, we're gonna grab another node and it's gonna do a little circle around grabbing every single node before I go for uh, this point here. And this just to maximize up my uh, experiences that I'm getting here. God, that's such a powerful attack. Those are mine, are they not? Hmm, maybe not. Okay, so I gotta avoid that for now, because that's the final area right here. Power node. I could just not capture it, obviously, but it's better to do it all at once, more time efficient. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this Chaos Gate. Should be some guys defending this, hopefully. Yes, there are. Good news, everybody. Actually, there's a lot of guys here. I can ship you some abilities. Oh, there's such a wicked amount of guys here, actually. See if we can get a copy of this guy before it dies. Come on! Yes! It's a chaos tank, it's one of my boys. Actually, never mind, that is a looted tank. They all look very similar to me. Ah, nice. Extra gear. Oh, poor tank. You're gonna get my wizard to go back and capture a chaos gate. Not that it's crazily useful or anything like that, but. Okay, so we have one more node left, and that's right here. And it's pretty darn close to where I am. And it's actually right where the, the power node is, so I'm gonna have to go that way all the same. Kind of interested to see. So one of them is a record. Hmm. There's a box over here. And my thought was if there was a box there, I might see if, if there's a box here, I could open. Maybe it'll get me another upgrade. Let's see. Do it. Uh, power upgrade. So not worthy for the trek. And I could also hypothetically add more squads here, but uh, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the squads in this game. I find them to be overwhelmingly crappy, and they just die too fast. You basically never get your investments worth out of them. Okay, everybody on the looted tank. This guy, I need you to pull back. Ooh. Okay, this guy's gotta die. If I can get him dead, he'll be good. And I can just soften that guy up like that. And oh yeah, now we're go now we're golden. Picking up all these squads. Ooh, another one over here. Uh guy's got upgrade available. Okay. 
Now just a matter of taking it to the teleporter platform. And we'll be ready to rock and roll. Now there's no building for me to stick my heavy in here, so I'll have to put him behind uh, boxes somewhere. Not going to be as good of a situation for him as in the last meal. I'll just put him over here. And then the wizard will be all the way back here. The wizard. He's a sorcerer. He's a sorcerer. The big Daka. Oh, I never did capture that. Uh, I send the wizard off to do that. What is this? Chaos Gate. That's a good location for a Chaos Gate for me, actually. Oh, jeez. It's actually... Oh, you're going to let me go through. Excellent. Well, hey, good news, everybody. These guys are apparently suppressed. So that slows them down quite a bit. Oh, the damage. It is immeasurable. Got a lot of units coming in here now. All of a sudden, uh, one of them down, but I should be okay. As long as oh, the other one's down. Shit. Now what? Capture the final power node. So. Oh, I see. He gets a he gets a nice little blast of power here. Well, I got two guys left alive. Um Kind of the right guys to be alive though. So that's no longer mine. Is that what I'm gathering from this? No, I don't get that. Unfortunate, but not a big deal. I assume there's some sort of uh, end penalty for not having that. But hey, we're gonna capture the final node. Um, hopefully, it. I kind of expected just fail there actually. This guy's got repair on vehicles, and I have actually never used that ability, ever. <laughs> Not once. Okay, so this place is even more indefensible. Um, I don't know where they'll be coming from. There's not actually any roads that lead here. Uh, yeah, there's nothing actually here. Um, no places, no buildings, no cover, nothing. So it's just going to be an ability spam coming up, if they send anything. There we go. This is some sort of uh, repurposed construction vehicle. You can see there's a, a packer wheel. Whoa! 
shove under the death roller. Can I take any damage? Barely any damage. Oh, and here we go. We have some actual units here. Oh, I guess we gotta. So we probably gotta get some angles on this guy. There we go, rear armor hit, so... Yeah. I just gotta get a lot of my guys repositioned here. To hit different armors. There we go, now it's starting to take a little bit of extra damage. And it's mechanical, so it doesn't take much for damage from anything. This guy's... Wow, this guy's got so much friggin' health. Basically doesn't take any damage. Okay, so it is taking down 4,000. It doesn't deal damage though, so that's a big plus. God, those missiles, they just keep hitting the wrong targets. Yeah, I gotta move this guy out so his missiles actually deal damage. Got him down another 2,000. This is gonna take a while. I should probably copy one of these squads. And use them over here. Because they'll help out with damage. Can I actually heal these units? I can, I can keep them alive and consistent, that's good. See, this is pretty well managed, I think. So this thing's actually doing a lot of damage, just not my main guy. So we're down 10,000 HP on this thing. Please tangle up prop off. It's my dudes here. Yeah, 
They just all blew up. Randomly. Oh, that's because that's a new thing I have. I totally forgot about that. But I did that. Oops. Need more points. Uh, it's up to twelve thousand. Randomly, they're changing strategies. Jesus. Okay. Slow and steady, I guess. God, that sorcerer is so strong. So strong. He used to be so weak. Now, so strong. I must be doing a lot of damage to him because he says that quite a bit. Do we have anything else that will boost damage? Uh, this one's... It'll deal a little bit of extra damage, but not enough to make sense of it. So it's really just rage spamming that I'll have to be doing. God, there's so many green things over here. How are we doing now? It's looking better and better every day. I should have the wog thing back up, so that's going to boost a little bit of damage. This feels like the. Uh, the old care fight from uh, Dawn of War 2 Chaos Rising just going on forever. Just ever and ever and ever and ever. A little bit of assistance. They're coming more often now. The grenader here. The grenadier. Oh, buddy. Any heal on that guy. Yeah, they're bringing in newer, stronger units here, so I'm going to have to pay a little more attention to what's going on here. Looks like he's still doing fine. Oh, he's not truly dead though. He'll he'll pick himself back up. No, he's probably dead. Okay. So I gotta pick him up because I need him. He's he's my crowd control right now. We're getting close to halfway point. Crush 
Crush him under the death roller. This guy's running low on energy. I gotta hold on to some of this energy off for dealing with these ads. Oh yeah, here. Oh god, he's barely going down. Okay. <clears throat> Thirty-five grand left to go. Crush him under the death This uh fight for what it is seems a bit excessive. This guy's got no more shots left, but looks like all the explosions are are multiplying the damages here, so looks like things are actually fine. Didn't need it anyway. Gotta kill one and they blow themselves up apparently. But I don't need the wizard back here anyway. This guy can handle it all on his own. And the boss doesn't actually do anything. Thirty thousand. Jesus Christ. Alright, so perhaps we'll uh, do a little bit of skip ahead. Um, until something changes, I guess. Okay, not too much changed. Uh, same stuff, different units. About it. About halfway through, they changed to uh, slightly stronger units, which requires a little more interactions. I've laid down endless numbers of turrets over and over and over just to add a bit extra damage. Um, nothing too scary. I took over one of these heavy squads here because they're stronger. Like everything I've done here is just a tune up and make things stronger. Ooh. So, uh, yeah, I've just been doing the same thing basically. Added in turrets. Not a big deal, I don't think. And that might be the last wave of them. Maybe one more wave, perhaps. Or that could be the last wave. It's looking like it. Only 2k health left. Let's see if they go for one more wave or not. Not seeing it. Just, nope, there we go. It kind of felt like the, the, there was a need for one last hurrah, so we're going to use that ability. Combination of oozing and explosions makes this easy. Whoa, we have another wave. Another last minute wave. I mean, really last minute, because this thing is 600 hit points left from dead. Ooh, I did not do that right. Run, 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 run. Let's get our wizard to pick him up. Uh, thing's dead. Well said, sir. Well said. Pestilence. Okay, yeah, so that was an optional. Uh, not necessary for completing the game. Gives you a little bit of extra experience. I don't need too much extra experience, actually. Uh, 
to warp. I don't really use that kind of stuff. So most of these items I'll be selling off. I just don't use. Hey, the commander is now level 10. That's good news. Various has been apparently level 10 for a while. I've been feeding him a lot of those uh, things. So yeah, that makes sense. And everybody else will be level 10 after one more optional. And I'll be doing all the optionals. After that point, I don't need the optionals anymore. But uh, whatever, you know, there's more missions to do and they're they're part of the storyline. I won't be doing all the optionals in all other playthroughs of this, though. I will only be doing the optionals in this playthrough. Every other playthrough, I'll just be doing the standard campaign story stuff. Because as far as I know, most of these missions are, are direct replicas in every single um, playthrough of this. So, I mean, there's barely a point in playing multiple playthroughs, but I will. Just for the little bits of extra differences. Um, yeah, so we're gonna get the uh, Doom Splitter. Oh, it's a heavy bolter. It's not just a bolter, it's a heavy bolter. That makes it slightly better. So Lord Eliphas is up. Level 1 Power Sword? I don't think so. What's this here? Um, movement Speed and Sight Range. Interesting. So this is one they don't need. I don't know if I can get rid of it though. Stuck with that forever. So we don't need a Level 1 Chain Sword or a Level 1 Four Sword. Sorry. Plasma gun, a level 1 bolter. What we need is a level 10 purple sword. And we have a level 9 purple sword here for Naroth, but I don't want him using purple swords. I want him using four staffs, so I have to get rid of that as well. Which gives Naroth the upgrade to level 10. Okay, so Champion of Corn. Fully upgrades the market corn. Additionally, Elephos is permanently consumed by flames that sear the flesh of nearby enemies. So it's going to make him even more deadly. Even more deadly! Uh, Naroth. We're going to give him a Master of Sorcery. Increases the potency of all Naroth's offensive spells. Doom Bolt, for example, fires twice as many bolts. That is sick. I don't use a lot of offensive spells with him. Um, just don't. I use him a lot more for utility, but I appreciate it nonetheless. And... Hmm. Now, I'm going to leave... See, I don't use these grenades ever. Never have ever used them. So I'm going to give him this uh, movement speed and sight range and just leave the grenades sitting here because I don't need them. And now we're going to trading out an auto cannon for a heavy bolter. Not just a bolter, a heavy bolter. It says, requires setup, suppression, scatter damage, proximity, increase damage. On hit, deals damage in an area around the target. So it's got explosive effects to it. And this is going to give us a Chaotic Zeal and Concentrated Fire. So those are both pretty darn good. I'll go ahead and sell that. And, and Kane's getting his upgrade as well. Um, so, reduces incoming range damage and spread infection to nearby infantry. Additionally, it allows him to equip Blight Grenades. And I don't have any Blight Grenades. But we do have the uh, Blightedness here. Is that everyone level 10? Is that is that right? Everyone is now level 10? So everyone's max level. That's that's what I gather from this. Okay. So I have everyone max level. There's literally no purpose in me going to these uh, optionals, but I will. I'll be doing all the optionals. And there's not a lot of them left. One, two, three. And then our last mission, uh, Cyrene, the Exterminated World. So I'll see you guys next time for another optional mission.